Hey, what's your shingapers and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to take you on a journey, not just through the basics of stream nutrition, but into the deeper, often overlooked world of what truly fuels life in our aquarium. Because this video is more than just feeding, it's about understanding, it's about respect for the creatures we keep, for the water we craft, and for the science that underpins every successful tank. This video will highlight five important elements to the successful stream keeping journey. And it's inspired by someone who consistently pushes the envelope of this hobby, Marcin Stenik, the founder of Galactic Stream. Marcin re recently shared his insights that struck a chord with me. It wasn't just about stream food or mineral content, it's about our mindset. About what separates a good hobby from a great one. So let's dive in. Every time we change water in our stream tanks, especially when we are using RODI, water we are doing something profound we are not just removing waste we are resetting the stage rodi water actually comes to us empty so a tds of zero pure yes but barren and that's why remineralization becomes one of the most sacred routines or rituals in stream keeping this is where it becomes important because it's not enough to just add back minerals you have to understand what you are adding why and in what ratio so the balance between calcium and magnesium, for instance, can mean the difference between surviving and a thriving colony. A 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 ratio between calcium and magnesium has been proven to promote healthy molting and robust shell development. It's not just a guideline, it's the framework for every successful mold. However, this means by having the appropriate ratio is the first stepping stone for reducing failed mold. And that's just the beginning. Most stream keepers obsess over their TDS, PH, GH, KH, which is important, please don't get me wrong, and we do measure that as well. But many overlook something even more critical, trace elements. These tiny invisible particles don't show up in most of your test kits, but they make a monumental difference to stream health, breeding and coloration. Marcin reminded us that these elements aren't just decoration in a periodic table. They are building blocks of enzymes, immune responses, metabolic functions, and yet not all trace elements come from the water. That's right. While remineralization helps build a supportive environment, the stream diet is where true transformation begins. Let's talk about something most hobbies still misunderstand, the source of nutrition. So streams are scavengers, yes, but that doesn't mean they thrive on detritus alone. So in a research paper, as you can see, one that looked at stream species similar to our beloved Caridina, it was revealed that dietary intake plays a far larger role than previously assumed. One finding stood out, zinc when included in higher dietary concentration led to increased body mass and higher survivability and that's huge because while your stream can absorb some minerals from the water the bulk of their development growth and immune defenses stems from the diet that article spelled out that dietary intake is another crucial element to deliver important trace elements to great health this reaffirms why our formulations like Breeders Select and Baby Dust are so carefully designed not just with protein and fiber, but with the right trace minerals in bioavailable forms. And no, the streams used in that study wasn't caridinum, but in science when patterns emerge across species, we take note, we infer with caution and clarity. So the truth is good nutrition is universal, whether it's us or them, you are what you eat. So in any natural freshwater ecosystem, streams thrive by, by grazing on surfaces rich in microscopic life. This is what we call biofilm. And in our tanks, biofilm is not optional, it's essential. It forms the foundation of a stream diet, especially in the earlier stages of life, um, where biofilm is the natural, nature's way of providing a stable, continuous food source that stream can graze throughout the day. This is why creating a healthy tank environment that promotes consistent biofilm growth is so important. From well-seasoned surfaces to stable water parameters, we aim to mimic the natural habitat where streams have evolved for years. However, while biofilm provides a baseline of nutrition and grazing comfort, it doesn't contain all the essential trace elements needed for optimum growth and coloration. And that's where targeted feeding comes in. 
So to support development, especially in high demand situations like breeding or molting, we supplement with purposefully formulated feeds. This includes carefully balanced proteins, minerals like zinc and other trace elements that go beyond what biofilm alone can offer. This is where I think we have to rethink our thoughts about feeding and nutrition. So rather than viewing feeding and biofilm as separate strategies, we see them as two halves of the same whole. For example, a strong biodiverse biofilm ensures streams always have something natural to forage on. And then, thoughtful feeding ensures they receive the specific nutrients required for a thriving for them to thrive in a closed system. So together, they actually build the framework for a healthy, high-performing colony. So to Marcin from Galactic Streams, thank you for always raising the bar. To every hobbyist watching this, remember what we do matters. So as we close out today's deep dive into nutrition, remineralization, and unseen elements that shape stream health, I want to leave you with this thought. Every time we mix minerals into RO, DI water, every time we choose a specific feed over another, every time we allow our tank to mature and build a stable layer of biofilm, we are doing more than maintaining an aquarium. We are shaping a micro ecosystem. We are taking part in a living cycle. We are, in essence, learning the art of balance. Because stream keeping isn't just about crystal clear water or beautiful stream patterns, it's about building something sustainable, something alive, something that reflects the patient, care and intention we bring into the craft. So keep asking questions, keep learning and keep refining your approach. Not to chase perfection, but to build understanding. Respecting the biofilm and never forget your hands are crafting more than the tank. They are nurturing life. Thanks for being here, for growing alongside this community and for choosing the path of a true streamkeeper. Until next time, stay inspired and peace out.